So in just a few hours now, the Lee County Supervisor of Elections Office will run its second test of the machines they're going to use to count your early voting ballots. The first test had a glitch and they put the testing on hold until today. Jessica Alpern joins us live in the studio this morning. So Jessica, I know you've been speaking with the elections office. How important is it that today's tests go well? Well, Chris, as you know, we're just days away from those early voting locations opening up in Lee County. So that's why it's important that this morning's test goes well and that the canvassing board is able to sign off on those machines today. The new logic and accuracy test will take place at 9 a.m. and this follows that glitch discovered during the initial testing on Monday. There was an issue with a percentage of the voting machines that will be used at early voting sites and on the polls at election day. So Supervisor of Elections Tommy Doyle says he needs to feel confident about how the machines are working before people start heading to early voting polls on Monday. I wasn't confident, you know, we're trying to fix it, which we're, uh, you know, doing some manipulations that just wasn't uh, I wasn't feeling good about it. I want to make sure we get it right and uh, go, especially going into this election. So this morning, the canvassing board will meet again and we'll see if that percentage of machines is good to go. In the meantime, we want to show you this live look because we have been tracking mail in voting in Lee County. So this is a live look at the website for Lee County. You can see nearly 115,000 of those mail in ballots have been cast so far. So the good news is that the machines that are used to tabulate those were not a part of that initial glitch. So the office has actually already started the process of counting those. And today's meeting is open to the public. If you would like to watch the testing take place, details on how to do so are at fox4now.com.